Lewis. Oh, Steven. It's an exciting night. Live show is an exciting night. You know? You're right here, right now. Need a lot of energy for it. You know, yeah. these people know we all get up around 6 a.m. here yeah. at the yeah, late yeah, show. Yeah. We're, uh, we're joke farmers, really, is what we do for a living. <laughs> uh, did you catch that uh, Katie Britt? Did you catch her? Oh, Good yeah. Thing? Yeah, I did. Seems like, no, 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 no. no. She seems like a sweet kid, and I hope she aces her SATs. It's going to be... <laughs> Coming up in just a minute, a guy I really want to talk to about the State of the Union, yeah. the greatest political analyst in the game right now, okay, CBS's right. own Mr. John Dickerson will be right there in just a moment. Yeah. America's yeah. sweetheart. Yeah. Folks, if you watch the show, you know I spent a lot of my time right over there after wandering the day's news forest, harvesting the most topical story, ebony, do a hand shape into a fine chest inlaid with lapis lazuli with a parapet set with pietra dura lozenges all resting on eight inlaid pilasters to create for you the breathtaking 18th century Duke of Beaufort cabinet that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I... I wake up behind an abandoned Petco where I fish some greasy cardboard out of a culvert and staple it together with rusty nails I ripped out of a discarded shipping pallet, then fill it with my belongings and head for the docks, dragging the transient bungled trunk of news that is my segment. Meanwhile. Right there. That's the only vehicle I need. Meanwhile. <laughs> Starting this week, for the first time ever, U.S. students will take the SAT entirely online, and the test is also one hour shorter, has shorter reading passages, and uses digital tools like a highlighter, a graphing calculator, and a bookmark to go back to skipped questions. And to make it even easier, they've changed the test by Minecraft. The test is just Minecraft. <laughs> Meanwhile, and this is pretty adorable, on Tuesday, the Bellagio Fountains in Las Vegas paused for a rare visitor. This yellow-billed loon, one of the 10 rarest birds in America. One of the 10 rarest birds. What are the odds of that? Seriously, what are the odds of that? Because I had like 80 grand riding on a blue-winged warbler. <laughs> They're gonna take my thumbs. <laughs> Meanwhile, Pittsburgh nudists have brought back one of their favorite activities, announcing that Balls Out Bowling is back, <laughs> where nudity is required, although women can wear bottoms. <laughs> Unfortunately, they have to rent those bottoms from the shoe counter. <laughs> Don't worry. He sprays them. <laughs> although everyone will be in the buff, the event planners warn that sexual activity is not permitted. That's a good call. But I am assuming that rule only applies to sex with other people. So, you know, fill in the blanks. <laughs> We're all adults. <laughs> Meanwhile, a major scandal in Long Island where a bakery's vegan donuts were actually from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Customers, yes, it's true. Customers became suspicious when the donuts tasted good. Meanwhile, to create a new dipping sauce, Hidden Valley Ranch and Cheez-It are finally joining forces. I mean, it's not how we thought the rapture would happen, but... <laughs> Meanwhile, LinkedIn suffered a widespread outage on Wednesday. Oh, no. Then how did people synergize CEO to innovate analytics branding for B2B C-suites? <laughs> Meanwhile, for five years, a New York City man managed to live rent-free in a Manhattan hotel by exploiting a obscure local housing law, and this super squatter has been identified as one Mickey Barreto. I'm pretty sure a guy named Mickey Barreto can live anywhere he wants in New York. <laughs> it's right there on the Statue of Liberty. Give me your Mickey Barrettos, your Sal Vincenzos, your my little cousin Vito Marianacci's yearning to breathe three. Oh, I'm libertying here. Hey. <laughs> That's how the Statue of Liberty talks. Right, yeah, yeah. Hey. After being arrested, Barreto says he was surprised when police showed up to the apartment with guns. And he said to his boyfriend, I thought you were doing something for Valentine's Day to spice up the relationship <laughs> until I saw the female officers. <laughs> Ow. 
Wow, I gotta say, I envy any relationship where a strike force in tactical gear breaks down your door and your first thought is, ooh, this is probably a sex thing. <laughs> I like it. Mm hmm take what? What? <laughs> Meanwhile, a new iPhone update includes new emojis like a lime wedge, nodding and shaking heads, and a mushroom. No! Stop it! <laughs> Too many. We already have all the emojis we need. Thumbs up, thumbs down, sex stuff, and part of a bullet train. <laughs> I can say anything I want with these. Like, are you cool with us having sex on the bullet train? <laughs> we'll be right back with John Dickerson.